Customary liquid measurement with big G. Now we know that with customary liquid measurement we have cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. And what I want to show you now is I'm going to show you a way to help you remember how many cups are in a pint and how many pints are in a quart and so on. Uh, and so th there's, a little, there's a little drawing that we're going to do. It's called the big G. And so we're going to start with cups. And for, for this video, and it'll help you differentiate, we're going to use different colors. So for cups, we're just going to draw a C. Because, well, in cups, there's only one cup in a cup. And we know that with a cup, that's about the uh, amount of juice you might drink for breakfast, or it's the amount of milk you put on your cereal. It's, uh, it's a pretty small amount. It's just just for you. Okay, next we have a pint. And I'm going to draw the pints in green. And so I'm going to draw a P for pint. And because there are two cups in a pint, inside that P, just like this, I'm going to put two C's. So each C is a cup, so it reminds you that there are two cups in one pint. The next one that we have is a quart. And we're going to draw a quart in orange, and I'm going to draw a big Q for quart, and we know that there are two pints in every quart, so we're going to draw two P's inside just like that, and then because there are two pints, or I'm sorry, two cups in a pint, we're going to put two C's just like that inside of the P's, so you can see that there are, in a quart, there are two pints, but there are also four cups. And a quart, a quart is a pretty large amount. Um, this is if you go to the store and you get a, a big bottle of uh, Gatorade, not the, uh, not the small ones, but the, the larger ones. That's probably about a quart size. Um, it is four cups, so it's 32 ounces. It's quite a bit. Uh, it's, it, it's one quart. And then finally... The last one that we have is gallon, and for gallon, I'm going to draw a big G like this. There we go, there's our G, and we know that there are four quarts in a gallon, so I'm going to draw four Q's, just like this, one, two, three, and four. And then in each of these quarts, there are two pints. So we're going to put our pints in there. Keep drawing our pints. There we go. And then, and this is where it gets a little tricky. I'm going to put two cups in each of the pints. So I've got to draw them in. It's kind of small, but we'll make it work. That one didn't work out so well. That one didn't either. Okay, so there we go. We got our two cups as best we could in our picture here. Two cups in each pint. So then if we think about it, if somebody says, how many cups are in a gallon? You can say, well, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. There are sixteen cups in a gallon. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints. There are four quarts in one gallon. And we know a gallon is a large amount. Uh, when mom or dad goes to the grocery store and they bring home a large jug of milk, that's a gallon. Um, sometimes you can get a gallon of ice cream. It's quite a bit. It's for all you, everyone in your family. At least I hope you don't sit down and eat a gallon of ice cream. You get a bad stomach ache. But a gallon is quite a large amount. If you're uh, making lemonade for a birthday party or something, then you'd probably use uh, a gallon of uh, a gallon of lemonade. Uh, a gallon is a good size. It's what you would want to take. And so, one last time, here is our large big G. We call it big G because it's got to be pretty big to hold all of these in. But again, uh, in a gallon, you've got four quarts, one, two, three, four. Those are represented by our Q's. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints. Those are represented by the P's. And then there are 16 cups in a gallon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 cups. And so hopefully this will be a good little uh, picture for you to remember uh, how many of each uh, unit there are inside of a gallon. It'll help you to to convert in those types of things. All right, this has been um, a Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade Production. If this video was helpful, please click like. Uh, hit that like button and leave me a comment. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, jump on over to uh, youtube.com slash Mr. Pearson Teaches Third Grade Videos and subscribe so you can keep up when I have new videos available. Thank you very much.